Hey, Dr. Cosby, check this out. Uh, well, first of all, I hope, I hope you're doing all right and, you know, and you're still blocking and all the rest of that stuff. My, my brother died in jail in 96, you know. When, when he was there, they didn't have no YouTube and no, uh, you know, Instagram or nothing like that. So I don't know if this is going to get through to you. I suppose you got some sort of kind of amenities that they didn't have back in the 90s, you know. 90s, you know, when Joe Biden and them, when Bill Clinton and them put all them brothers in jail. I guess you would a lot of them brothers that would got in jail then. So, you know, say hello to them. Hey, look, I got an idea. Yeah. Pomegranate juice. Good for the blood pressure. Tell the brothers in jail the same thing, good for the blood pressure. Ask them request like pomegranate juice. Mm. Pure, 100%. Stuff is strong. Look, here's the thing. Here, I got an idea. Now, since you're a doctorate, in other words, you went and got your doctorate, it means you had to do a lot of research, you know, and all that stuff in the, on the, on the uh, you know, upper college, upper educational levels, you know. And plus, that's why you got a, your doctorate in education. I sort of remember that kind of thing. Anyway, here's what I was thinking. Because remember, you know, doctorates are really, those guys that do the doctorate are really good because remember, your Cosby Show thing, it was successful because you had Dr. Alan Toussaint, you know, go through all the scripts and everything like that. So you know what I mean, right? You all got that research kind of knowledge, right? Here's what I'm thinking. You still got friends on the outside that got their doctorates and stuff like that. You hung out in those crowds. You know, you, you give money to schools and stuff like that. You can get a whole school to do what you want, right? Okay. I mean school, I mean like university, right? And you know, only universities get out of doctorates, you know. Colleges give out, you know, whatever they give out. But universities get out of masters and doctors. So, you know, you're at that level. Okay, back to your point. Here's what I was thinking. Oh, wait, wait a second. Plus, you got all them brothers in jail that don't necessarily have the doctorate thing, but they can do the research, too. But well, here's something, you know, because every time we, we, we talk about you back in the day, you know, it was always you and Oprah, you know, Oprah and, and Dr. Cosby, Oprah and Dr. Cosby, those are women with the whole money. And, you know, Oprah, you know what Oprah did? She put up all these bull signs up in Louisville, Kentucky, right? And what it did was, like, for the, the sister that day, they bust down her door, you know, and they, and they killed her right there in a the, in the bed and all that stuff. Her boyfriend was there, but they shot him, you know, and then, you know, it's just to get rid of... And get rid of those people out of that, that. You know, it's like, remember when you grew up and had, in the 60s, they had, they had urban renewal, Negro removal? It's like that. They're trying to remove the Negroes from this area. Then was, that's what I hear. Hey, hey, it's alleged. That's what they say. I got to say that, right? Okay, look. All I'm saying, you got all those people who do research. Now, they're doing, rep, they're talking reparations now, right? Okay. They're, they're, I know back in the day they talked reparations, but, you know, their reparations were just really to, 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 to sort of integrate and, you know, I'm not going to say what they were. They, they, they can speak for themselves. Those, those folks are still around talking reparations. But there's another movement called ADOS, right? American Descendants of Slavery, or like I like to say, North American Descendants of Chattel Slavery, but that's only me. No. There's, there's some research there. I put my stuff in there like that. We all can do that. Okay, here's, here's, here's what I'm going to say. If you activate all them people that's doing the research and stuff like that, wait a second. Maybe you can't hear me. Let me turn this thing off because it's kind of hot here. I'm in Missouri right now. It's kind of hot. Let me turn. You can hear me better now, right? Can you hear me? Okay, great. Here's what I'm saying. All I'm picking the research because if you're going to do reparations, they're going to do some studies and stuff like that. You know, they're going to do whatever. We could do a more thorough study. I mean, I'm saying we because I can do some research too because, you know, I'm not that of what to, I don't. So if you could do some research back, you know, when, when the country was first founded and you got all them people, them, because, you know, all them guys where they were white supremacists, you know, so they, they wrote all that stuff down so we can see what their original doctors during slavery time, what they were talking about, you know what I mean? Or they do, do antebellum when, when they, when they so-called freed the slaves, you know what I mean? And they put their little 13th Amendment and they put everybody back in jail. That, that all that stuff was right now, you know, the, the, the chain gangs, you know, you did the whole thing. Chain gang, this is where the blues come from. Chain gang. Everybody think it come from the Negro spirituals during slave time, but that come from the blues. Anyway, the point is, what you can do is that all that research, and then plus, oh, hey, you know, Jim Crow lynch it. We could do all that research about that, da 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 da. Or right on through, right on through the 60s. Your, your era, you know what I mean? You was the first guy on dramatic, you know, on TV, Bill Cosby show. I'm not the Bill Cosby show. I spy. Right up there with, uh, with Cicely Tyson, where she had the, the fro, the short fro, doing the East Side West Side with um, what's her name, George C. Scott. You know all the people, right? But all the people they come together, and they do a little, they put a little research, right? And we can then you can make a whole case from, but basically from slavery or even pre, well, slavery, you know, the ships and where the Middle Passage, right? Right up and through the time, you got in jail. You know, you can do all that research and go, you got a whole lot of people helping you. You got all the all the cats in the in the in the, in the plank right there. And but hey, by the way. Remember in the 60s, you know, when we were protesting, you know, trying to, you know, to have, you know, you, you was with the civil rights movement and all that stuff. 
But, you know, we gave the civil rights movement a little punch, which, you know, you had the Black Liberation Movement right, up, up north, where you were up north, you know what I mean? Well, them brothers are still in jail. You don't deal with them, so you can help them. Get, you, know, you can help them. Can, you, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I just want to come to you with this little short message because I know you're busy, you know, because, you know, you got a whole lot on your plate right there. But I figured, you know, you can lend some help because you got that, you know, you got that book knowledge and you got the research knowledge and you, you have time to do, research all those ancient documents because, you know, through the slavery time and the, and the antebellum time and, the, you know, all of the, 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 you know, the southern people writing, you know, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Oh, who am I? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm just T from the Patterson's taking the trench to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Suspect you can do for us. Okay, for the reparation movement. Hey! Hey, do us!